All right, everybody, this is the moment I've been waiting for. I'm actually on the road, headed back home to Knoxville in my uh, new truck. Brenda and I pulled out of uh, Tifton, Georgia um, this morning, and uh, we're headed back, take the truck back home to Knoxville, and I'll be um, basically going to go back to Knoxville, get the truck set up, and, uh, you know, with personal items, and then on Sunday, I'll be headed down to uh, Jefferson, Georgia for my Landstar orientation on Monday. Uh, Landstar, my BCO advisor from Landstar has already contacted me today. Last night I was, uh, I became an active driver for Landstar yesterday. Uh, actually about five o'clock last night when I finally got all the paperwork in. And then uh, this morning, um, the Landstar representative called me and uh, said that introduced herself and is my BCO advisor. And uh, and we are uh, going to talk some more once I'm finished my orientation. Um, on the way home so far, I've been thinking about things I need to get in the truck that are more due to maintenance and um, what kind of items, I guess, you know, mechanical items, oils and fluids I need to uh, stock up on in the truck. Uh, so far, you know, obviously I want to get a gallon of oil in there, which I need to find out what oil they're using in this engine. Um, I'm already considering or planning to uh, switch over to the synthetics if it, if there is them. Um, like I said in my earlier video, the truck only has 390, well now it's 392,000 on it, and um, I think it, it's probably, you know, just, just finished breaking in, so it would be a real good time to start using synthetics in it and basically stop any more wear and tear. So, so far I've come up with, uh, you know, I want to get a gallon of oil, at least a gallon of coolant, um, and then uh, windshield wipers. They look like I'll be able to go to, go to AutoZone or Pet Boys or maybe even Walmart and buy a couple pairs of these windshield wipers so I never get stuck paying uh, truck stop prices on them. Um, and then uh, I'm going to do some research on fuel additives for the diesel. And then since it is October, I'm going to go ahead and get some uh, anti-gel. Some cup, you know, a few bottles of anti-gel. I plan on doing my best to run sort of south this winter because I'm not just not really equipped or ready to go for full-blown winter driving. So, uh, you know, I've still got to get chains. I need a chain holder, etc., and so on. So it's it would be best if I can, you know, just keep my you know, keep to the southwest or southeastern portion of the country. Stay away from the Rockies until spring, you know, etc. Stay out of Colorado because I know they have chain walls where have to have chains in your vehicle even to enter the state. Um, let's see. And uh, that's about that's about all I've come up with so far. I mean, there's just so much I need to do. Let's see, I, I you know I just I realized this morning that I better at least start a log book just for this, even though technically I'm not working, uh, but I am. You know. I'm in a commercial vehicle, and I'm performing duty, so as far as I know, I need to be logged, and so I did me a, a seven-day log, off-duty log, and got that, you know, I got that one sheet ready to go, and then I basically started my day with a uh, PTI this morning and, uh, at Lone Mountain in Tifton, and then went on driveline for 15 minutes, got up to pilot. I uh, did my fueling there, and then, um, and then, well, one thing, 
which I, you know, for those of you following, and I don't know if you know this or not yet, but I'm um, basically still a rookie driver. I've I've got exactly 12 months behind the wheel, almost. Now I've had my CDL about 18 months total. Have pretty much 12 months of flatbed driving, and then uh, I was laid up for a little while. And I, uh, instead of going back to the company I did work for, I checked into leasing a truck, and um, that's what I've done. I've leased, purchased a truck through Lone Mountain, and uh, that, you know, we'll, I'll go over some more of that in another video. Uh, they're, for the most part, you know, they're an excellent hassle free uh, dealership to get a truck from. Um, and let's see, so I have, you know, this is, actually this, I told, uh, when I test drove the truck, I told uh, the, uh, the salesman that was riding with me that, and I did realize then that it's the first time I'd ever bobtailed. I, the prior company I worked for, no bobtailing allowed. You kept your trailer, truck hooked to your trailer at all times, which I had never had a need bobtail other than the few feet it takes to do a trailer swap so uh, now I have plenty of miles in driving bobtail and I'm sure the truck's going to ride a whole lot smoother once uh, once I uh, once I get a trailer and get a load on the back it'll be uh, much nicer but uh, anyway I think that's all for now there's probably something I need to wrap up in there but uh you know, I'm, uh, I think I've ran this video long enough, and uh, I'll get off here for now, and I will uh, maybe we'll film some going through Atlanta, because that's always fun. I know, you know, the 285 bypass, 285 west around Atlanta, it's always a great adventure there, so maybe we'll uh, catch some interesting video on, uh, on the route through there. But until then... Be safe.